hi guys welcome to my channel once again how are you all doing today guys like i keep telling you you can trust me to be bringing you the gist of this happenings and all the basketballs happening in and out of big brother and zazim's house yes guys a lot is already happening in that house since your faves got into the house it may seem as though the show is becoming interesting by the day a lot happened yesterday during their vision uh, show and that resulted into so many things changing in the house guys but before i continue this is verified this blog if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do so and when you subscribe please turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we post new videos so guys yesterday the eviction night a lot happened and that has resulted in so many changes in the house because that eviction night yesterday, like we all know, normal tradition, Lawrence will come and shake some tables. And after shaking some tables, they will be seeing themselves in some perspective and in some kind of way. And that really happened yesterday. First of all, Lawrence came and he was like, oh, yo, everybody, all the nominated has made stand and they, start, and they stood up. And he was like, there's no eviction for today. Then he started shaking tables one after the other. First of all, it was like Mark Jr., he told Mac Jr., he asked Mac Jr. why he called uh, Mac AK a spinless liar. And Mac Jr. still can't believe that Lawrence called him out for calling Mac AK a spinless liar. Guys, in the presence of everybody and even in the presence of uh, Mac AK, and he said what he said again. He said what he said. He said, like, he noticed that Mac AK is not being. Uh, honest Makeke is not playing the game the way it ought to be. Makeke is being some kind of corny in the game, he's not coming out fully, and that is the truth, guys. Makeke is not really coming out fully in that game. Reason is because he has been giving his reason to Yolanda. Only Yolanda know the reason why things are like that for Makeke. According to Makeke, his reasons for restricting a little bit is because of uh, the strike he already has. Remember, he has two strike already and just one more will be asked from the game. According to him, he don't know the left to take. He don't know if he takes right, it will affect him. If he takes left, it will affect him. Or if he, he takes center, it will affect him. He's just confused. So that's the reason why he's not bringing himself out. He's not showing the full makeke in him. According to him, if it were to be just one strike, he would have been doing a lot. He would have been doing a lot. He would have been saying a lot. But just he has two already. One and he is gone. Here's the reason why he is being corny and all of that. And people are seeing him as a liar in that show already. Remember, Yolanda is girlfriend and um, Pape, uh, Pape and uh, Sinaye had a little misunderstanding during the saturday night party he couldn't come out straight to defend yolanda because everybody was tipsy everybody was high he don't want to involve himself in something that he will regret later maybe in the process of him challenging then they get into one argument or the other that might result to uh, another strike hence the reason why he's avoiding anything that has to do with arguments and all of that he even called Yolanda to the corner and he made her to understand that this is it this is it this is it this is the reason why I don't insert myself in all of this because I don't know what we I will do now and the, the strike will be complete three and that is the end of the sh uh, show for him so he's just trying to be careful and the reason why everybody is seeing him as a liar but mac jr on his own side is not just having it it's like why will lawrence ask that kind of question lawrence is really uh, spilling their strategy even sinaye was not having it at all sinaye was also questioned and it was like what is this if after the uh, vision show you was really expressing his dissatisfaction and displeasure on what Lawrence is doing. Why is Lawrence announcing their strategy? According to him, these things that they are saying behind the house made backs, this by Batson and all of that is their strategy in the show. Why will Lawrence come out publicly and start making everybody to know their strategy? According to him, is not good at all. Lawrence is 
announcing their strategy and spoiling their strategy for them but guys i don't see anything wrong with that that's how big brother has always been that's how big brother has, has always been even uh, z was equally asked a question you know z has been gossiping behind yolanda and mitch back and lawrence asked him a question concerning it yesterday according to lawrence z was like uh, Mitch has been the one following Yolanda up and down. Mitch is the one forcing the relationship between him and Yolanda. You know, these two have been in a very good friend, very good friend. I love their friendship since the day one of the uh, show. They have been close. They have each other's back. Yolanda and Mitch. So Z was like, uh, Yolanda is the boy. Why um, uh, Yolanda, uh, Yolanda is the madam. Why Mitch is the boy? Mitch is the errand boy of the relationship. Mitch is the one following Yolanda about. So yesterday, Lawrence has to bring up the issue and she said what she said again. Z was like, yo, she said it. She said, um, is from the look of things it's not clear who is really chasing after each other in that relationship that from the some some days it will look as if yolanda is the one chasing mitch and some days it will look as if mitch is the one chasing yolanda in that relationship and that was how it is you need to see the way yolanda was laughing yolanda was like really you guys discussed me and all of that. You discussed my relationship with Mitch. So right now, everybody in that house is already scared of saying one or two because they don't know what they will say. And uh, on Sunday, your, uh, Lawrence will come and shake the table and expose them and their strategy. Sinaya was not having it at all. Mitch was not having it at all after the eviction. All of all the housemates, they were just seen complaining up and down. They are like, this thing Lawrence is doing is not good. Lawrence is scattering their strategy. Lawrence is announcing their strategy. Lawrence is not trying at all. Even Lawrence made a tweet about it. He was like, he has said what he has said. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. So right now, the consequences of him spilling is that the housemates are scared of uh, saying one or two. They are scared they don't know what they will say that will land them into trouble so they don't want to say any other thing they want to keep their strategy to themselves they want to even mind what they discuss with people because the cameras are all over the place and lawrence is watching and at the end lawrence will just come out and start shaking a uh, table sinaye uh, Z, um, this girl, Liama and uh, Pume with Jari, they were very lucky yesterday. Yesterday was their lucky day, but I don't, I'm not sure if they will be this lucky next week because Lawrence is really coming for them. Lawrence don't want it to look as if every day is always coming for them. So, guys, right now, strategies are on ground, but they don't want to say it out, they want to keep it within themselves. All right, guys, thank you for joining me once again. Please and please click on the subscribe button and do come back for more interesting Big Brother Zazim's update. Thank you all. I love you all. Peace out.